So before we close out the regular season in today's episode, we have a skill upgrade, getting plus two to our speed and one to our strength, acceleration, and agility. And then we're going to add on plus five to our throw power to boost it up to 92. As that brings us to our next Big Ten matchup, going up against the Penn State Nittany Lions. As we're going to start the ball off first and 10 here, right around the 50-yard line, as that's going to be a quick pitch and catch to our tight end. Bringing up first and 10, Robinson back to throw. He's going to step up down the right sideline, wide open, but our receiver's pushed out of bounds at the one, so second and goal now, rolling to the left on the play action. Chicago's going to step up and take it himself for a touchdown. Up 7-0 here, early over Penn State, facing a third and five now. Robinson opening up the middle of the line like Moses parting the Red Sea. He would take that opening for a first down. On the run now to the end zone, and he finds his favorite target, the tight end, for a touchdown. As we go up 14-0, 38 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Deep bomb left side, that's completed. Cornerback undercut it, and that was a mistake as this is going to be taken inside the five-yard line. On third and ten, after we would end up scoring a touchdown on that drive, as we move to the second quarter, another corner route completion. That would set up first and ten. Back to throw. We're going to take off on our feet again, sliding forward for the first down. Third and eight now. It's down to a two-possession game. Penn State starting to catch up as it's 28-14. to 14, Just under four and a half minutes to go here in the third. Robinson across the middle on the post route. Dangerous throw, but that's completed inside the 30. So that would put us over 260 yards on the day. Second and five now. Dropping back in the shotgun. Stepping up on the run to the end zone. An acrobatic catch for a touchdown. Six more for the Illini as we go up 35 to 28. Third and two here. This is a big conversion as we're taking a shot down the field. And Chicago completes this just shy of the end zone, though. We would end up scoring as next possession, second and one. This time, Chicago, he's just shorted the end zone as well. So first and goal, dropping back to throw to the left side, and that's going to be completed for a touchdown. As five seconds left to go, we would snap this one and run the clock out, as it was a little closer than we'd like, but we're going to end up walking away with a victory over Penn State here, 49-42 to to open up today's episode. As look at this, after that performance, we have reached the top level that we're able to enroll to glory as Chicago Robinson has finally become a team legend here at Illinois. We also find ourselves back in the top 25 as we've moved up to number 24 in the nation as we get ready to take on our next matchup. This game going up against number eight Michigan here at home. Robinson back to throw on first and 10. That pass is a nice completion down the left side to beat the cover too as that brings up second and 10. Robinson is gonna step up avoiding some tacklers and his own linemen and a big gain here down to the 21. As that brings up first and goal, Robinson back to throw. Stepping up, he's going to take it himself, and he's going to find his way into the end zone for six on his feet. Michigan would go down and tie it up, back up seven apiece. Third and six on the run. Dangerous throw there. Linebacker on tight end. That's going to be a mismatch, as that would set up goal to go. It's third down now. Robinson back to throw. That's knocked incomplete. So we would settle for a field goal on that drive and hold Michigan. First and 10. Another mismatch across the middle. They would try to undercut that route, but it would not work, as we would end up scoring a touchdown. 17-7 to now, going back to our tight end on the corner route as usual. Later in the drive now, second and four. Just over two minutes to go in the third quarter. Quick slant route that would result in another touchdown. As we go up 24-7 to over number eight, Michigan. To the end zone and another slant route for an easy six. And the Illini are up in this one. But Chicago is going to put the football on the ground here. And it's going to be a scoop and score for the Wolverines. That would do it, though, as our defense would hold out. And we would end up walking away with a victory over Michigan in this one. As we are going to take it 38-23 to over the number 8 ranked Wolverines. And our next matchup would be going up against the number 1 ranked Wisconsin Badgers. 92 overall. 3rd and 13. We're looking to make a statement early on. And that's not exactly what we want to do. 3rd and 9. Next drive. We managed to hold Wisconsin. 
Going left side, that's going to be completed. A nice read there from Chicago as in second and four. Play action across the middle. That's going to be completed to our tight end. And the Illini are going to strike first over the number one ranked Badgers. Third and one. Our defense doing a great job this game. That's going to give us the opportunity to go up 14 to nothing over Wisconsin. Near the end of the first half, just over a minute to go here. Backed up to our own goal line. But we're going to have some room to run on this one. A great pass from Chicago. And this is going to be taken all the way to the end zone for a touchdown before halftime. And we're going to go up 21 to nothing over the Badgers. As that is going to set an NCAA record for the longest touchdown pass. That now belongs to Chicago Robinson. As we're going right down for another touchdown. Go up 28 to nothing. Make it 35 to nothing over the number one team in the nation. And we are going to pull off the upset here in Champaign as we take down the number one ranked Wisconsin Badgers, 35 to seven. So with that headed into the final game of the season, Wisconsin has a one game lead on us. So this game against Minnesota, we need to win and we need the Badgers to lose if we wanna find ourselves in the Big 10 championship representing the West Division. First things first, we gotta win this game. Third and 13 across the middle, that's gonna be completed for a first down. Third and three now, Robinson back to throw. Stepping up, he's going to take it himself. He has the first down and more sliding forward. Bringing up now a second and 13. Dropping back to throw in eye formation. Left side, that's going to be completed. First and goal to go. Third and goal now. Backed up outside of the 10-yard line. Robinson back to throw. He's going to step up on the run. That's going to be short of the end zone. As that would bring up now second and six, we would settle for a field goal. And we're going to find the end zone this time, no problem. We would miss the extra point on that play. So 16 nothing across the middle. We're going to pick up the first down on the slant, bringing up second and nine now. Robinson to the end zone, and that's going to be completed for a touchdown as Illinois is starting to run away with this one. We set the new record for school passing touchdowns in a season with 28. Obviously, we set the record at 27 and now are just setting the bar even higher as Robinson's going to take this one himself. Picking up a huge gain there as that would set up first and 10 to the end zone. Make the record 29 on the season. As that would do it, we run away with this one over Minnesota and win it big time. As we take this one 37 to 13 over the Golden Gophers. Chicago Robinson, your player of the game with three touchdowns on the day. And unfortunately we would win, but so would Wisconsin and we aren't gonna find ourselves in the conference championship. As they finish 11 and one, we finish 10 and two. We would finish the year off at number 14 in the top 25 polls. And here is your Heisman winner, unfortunately, but expected. Freshman Chicago is nowhere up there. As that would bring us to the end of this episode, where next episode, we're going to be starting in our first career bowl game. We're headed to the Orlando Bowl to take on Ole Miss. We'll see you guys then.